Hi there, this is Kathy from Applique Corner, and today we're going to be stitching an in the hoop baby bib. This design requires a five by seven hoop, and you will get three files to complete your baby bib. In the five by seven hoop, I have hooped a piece of stabilizer. I'm using um, just a cutaway mesh stabilizer, and you want about an inch of stabilizer going all the way around for good stabilization. And we will get started um, on the bib, and I'll just show how you know, show you how easy it is to complete a bib in the hoop. What you want to do first, the first step is going to be the placement stitch for the top of the bib. You will download the bib top file first and select it and allow your machine to stitch that placement stitch on the stabilizer only. Okay, now the machine is finishing that first step. You wanna grab your first fabric and place it right side up on the placement lines inside your hoop. Now you can skip this next step and, and place two fabrics right side together and fast forward to um, the next step. But if you have a printed fabric or lined fabric or something like a gingham or something uh, you really want to check the lines, you can use this step and tack down your fabric, um, your first fabric right side up as I'm doing. Okay, now that the machine has stitched into place your first fabric, you're gonna grab your second fabric and place it face side down. Now, I'm gonna be using terry cloth today because I want um, my bibs backed in terry cloth, so it doesn't matter if which side I use today. But if you're using a printed fabric, you definitely want to uh, place that fabric face side down or put right sides together. You just want to smooth your fabric all the way around, make sure it's laying nice and flat, and then allow the, the machine to stitch the next step. It will stitch all the way around the bib top, but it will not stitch the bottom, the opening. You want to leave the bottom of the bib open so you can turn the bib right side out a little later. Okay, the machine has stitched a nice, um, strong triple stitch for us, and we're gonna remove it from the hoop. We're going to cut um, the top of the bib out. We're gonna remove all the excess fabric. What you wanna do is you wanna grab your scissors, and you're gonna cut all the way around the outline of the bib, removing the excess fabric. You can simply cut through all of the layers you want to leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside and the inside neckline, but you're going to want to leave a little bit more on the bottom of the top of the bib. That material is going to, we're, we're going to use that material to attach it to the bottom of the bib a little later. I'm using smaller scissors. You might want to grab your larger scissors for this. These scissors are a little bit too small, but they will work. 
Now in removing the center, the, the circle from the center of the neck, you might want to save this fabric for an applique or something um, either for this project or for something a little later. Now when we're cutting the bottom here, you want to leave about a half inch of fabric. And this is the fabric that we will um, attach to the bottom piece. So you want to want to leave a little bit more than you do on the outside. Now what I like to do, I like to round these corners and then we're going to cut a few slits into a uh, perpendicular to the seam line but not through it if you do cut through it you're going to end up with a hole in your bib but doing this all the way around curves and corners it just makes your product lay nice and flat when you turn it right side out now i will say this i don't normally cut especially um, terry cloth i would not be cutting uh, on the bed of my machine. I would take this to a work table or do it in my lap or something like that. But for the purpose of the video, um, I am trimming right here on top of the machine. But you don't want any threads or stray fabric um, scraps to go into the throat plate of your machine. Okay, we will finish up cutting around the curves. And then we're going to turn our top bib right side out. You might want to grab um, some chopsticks or you can use your scissors, closed, pointed of course, um, or even a pencil eraser. But here the bib is turned right side out. I used a chopstick. I'm going to take it to the ironing board in just a little bit and iron it nice and flat and those seams are going to be really pretty. We will close this bib a little later with a snap or Velcro or something like that. But lay the bib aside, lay the top part aside, and we'll get started on the bottom piece. Okay, again, we've got some stabilizer hooped in our five by seven hoop, a stabilizer only. Then we're gonna allow the machine to stitch the placement line for us. Okay, you want to grab your fabric. I'm going to uh, choose a pretty floral fabric to coordinate with, a, with the top part. You're going to lay your fabric face side up, right side up, and covering all of those placement stitches. Next, the machine is going to tack down this fabric for you. Now you can decide, um, you can put an applique, you can merge an applique or a monogram um, or a name on this part of the bib if you like. Today we're going to um, stitch my granddaughter's name, Riley Kate, and we've chosen a really pretty uh, font, Beverly Hills font from Applique Corner. And this is where I would um, pause and either do an applique or a monogram. I'm going to change threads in the machine. I've picked a really pretty thread. It's going to highlight the colors in this fabric. I've picked a red so as to make this fabric really pop. I think adding a, a monogram or an applique just puts a a really a personal touch to your item for your friends or family members. Okay, we will let the machine continue to stitch this monogram for us and we'll be back in a sec. All right, now the machine has finished the monogram. We're going to remove the hoop from the machine so I can get the top piece lined up correctly. 
And what you want to do, if you're using different fabrics for the front and the back piece, you want to lay this face side down, right sides together or front sides together, if you will, and line up the top piece on the top line of the bottom piece. You want to make sure that both sides or edges do not go past the outside of the bib. You want to check the top and the bottom, or, or in this case really the right and the left of the bib, and it's going to stitch right across this line. So you want to make sure that the seams match up. You can flip it over uh, to double check. I'm going to move mine up just a little bit to make sure the seams don't show when we flip it right side out. Okay, I'm using some tape, some embroidery perfection tape from R&K Distributing, and I've just taped the top piece to the bottom piece. I've taped it in place. Now I'm going to re uh, replace the hoop back into the machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the needle, just let it stitch one or two times to make sure it's in the right place and this looks good to me so I'll let the machine stitch the top and bottom together. Okay at this point I want to remove I'm going to remove the tape or remove the hoop from the machine and then remove the tape. The tape is really easy to remove, even on terry cloth. It just comes right off. Okay. There we go. It doesn't leave any sticky residue or anything like that on your fabrics. I, I really like that tape. Okay. We will get the last piece of fabric and place it now, if this was, again, if this was a printed fabric, you would place this face side down. You would be placing uh, right sides together, but in the case of terry cloth, it doesn't matter to me. So it, it can be either side. We will allow the machine to stitch the back of the bib. And we'll stitch all of those pieces together. Now again, I've used a triple stitch here, so the seam will be nice and strong. This bib will not come out no matter how much tugging or pulling you do on it. And this step will stitch all the way around the bib, but it's going to leave an opening at the top so you can turn the bib right side out. These would be cute in all sorts of fabrics, boy fabrics or girl fabrics. You could even make, make some for larger baby dolls if you'd like. Okay, the machine is done. And what we will do is remove the hoop once again. And we're gonna trim away all of the excess fabric. You can see how nice and strong that stitch is going to make the bib. Okay. I've trimmed around and left about a quarter of an inch all the way around. I'm going to trim these corners very carefully. Again, I do not like um, trimming any, any fabrics on top of my machine. This is just for the purposes of the video, especially this crazy terry cloth that sheds everywhere. And again, just like we did the top, I'm going to go all the way around the bib about every half inch or so and cut little slits into the sides, being careful not to cut into the stitching or you'll end up with a hole in your bib. It just takes a minute, but it helps and your project will lay nice and flat when you turn it right side out. Now what you want to do is just flip the bib right side out. 
working all of the, the seams and, and curves and corners, just pushing your fingers. Or again, you can use a chopstick or something like that. A pencil eraser end works nicely. And I've taken it to the ironing board and I've pressed it. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna um, hoop a piece of water soluble stabilizer. Don't use any cutaway or tear away or sticky stabilizer at this point. Um, you want a nice finished product and the water soluble stabilizer is the way to go. I pressed the bib all the way around and pressed about a quarter of an inch seam on the back in that terry cloth. You just you fold that back piece down and iron it just like that. It leaves a little opening and that's what we're going to stitch, uh, stitch close. Now you can do this by hand if you like or you can do it on a sewing machine but I've included this file which is the attachment line for the bib so you can do it in a bordery machine. You don't have to have a sewing machine. We're going to stitch all the way across this top of the bottom piece. Now the machine will stitch a placement stitch on this stabilizer for you. It'll stitch a little um, stitch at the bottom just for a, a guide for the machine. You don't really need this stitch at all. Now here we go with the placement stitch. It's just a straight line all the way across. And that's how we're gonna line up the bib to stitch the seam closed. Okay, at this point, you can, you can hold your threads if you'd like when your machine is stitching on um, stabilizer only, especially the water soluble stabilizer, but it's really not necessary. But if you want to hold your threads out of the way so it doesn't go down, it's fine. Okay, we're going to line up our bib along the line. Make sure you can see the line on either side. And it's fairly easy to get it straight. You just want to make sure that it's going to be right inside or right below the seam line of the top and uh, bottom fabrics. You can look at the back. What you're trying to catch is that fold that you've ironed flat. We're just stitching that closed. Now in the case of terry cloth, I'm using white bobbin thread and I'm just using um, a real pretty uh, pale color top thread, a very, very pale pink. But you can use decorative thread. You could use, in this case, the red that you use for the monogram. You can change your bobbin thread if you've got uh, printed fabric so it'll match. Now I've got it all lined up and I'm going to let the machine stitch and it's just a pretty top stitch that will go all the way across. These bibs are so quick and easy. I know you're going to want to make, make lots of them. You'll be making them by the dozens for friends and family. Be a great baby shower gift. Okay, just as quick as that, we are done. The machine has stitched the bottom piece and the top piece closed. Now this bib is very strong. It can be washed and dried. You can see all the seams are, are nice and tight. And if you do a good job ironing the seams flat, it turns out really pretty. And remember, with this finished bib, you can, you can add Velcro or snap, whatever you would like to add to finish the bib off. And that is it. You can, um, almost all the water soluble stabilizer comes off, but you can melt it off. We just have a few little threads to trim. And you see how pretty that comes together. going to trim a th few threads and here's where you would add a snap closure or velcro if you wish and 
and you could do it either or right side or left side either one okay and we are done with our in the hoop baby bib we will have more sizes to come this one is um, five by seven size and we are done it just comes together just that quickly thank you for joining us